me to working with Dalai Lama, you know, Bishop mm. Tutu. Like, how did how did that go from this kind of okay? I'm going to start, uh, you know, accepting that this is my word. How how I'm going to turn up in the world and share with others. How did that happen for you? Well, again, it, it was another turning point, and it was in it was in that self esteem place where I was like there is more to me than just these numbers and accounting. And I was known in Vancouver as um, like, I, I was the president of a Buddhist association and I, I was very, very active in the Vancouver uh, spirituality scene, if you will. And this is like in the late nineties, early two mm thousands. -hmm. And um, I, the first person that I, I, and I also did tour coordination. So there was a nun that came from India to Canada to do some fundraising. And she, I did her tour in Canada to help her fundraise. And people watched that and saw that. And we raised, I, I don't even remember, like maybe $50,000 for her over a, a course of four or five days. Um, and there was one person in particular who I introduced her to. And from there, he, he was the one who brought the Dalai Lama to Vancouver. So he invited His Holiness to Vancouver for a five-day event. And he just, you know, he knew me and he just said, do you want to coordinate the spiritual teaching of His Holiness, right? And we're, we're talking big. We're talking 25,000 people. We're talking a quarter million dollars. Like, like, so that was the entree in um, mm. at that point. And Bishop Desmond Tutu was part of that. So there were three Nobel laureates. There was Bishop Tutu, His Holiness, and a woman named Shirin Abadi, who had just that year won the Nobel Peace Prize. She was a judge that was imprisoned in Iran for her liberal views. And she had been, um, now she, then she was under house arrest and then she was exiled. So she was there and there was uh, uh, Joanne Archibald, who was a First Nations elder and then a Jewish rabbi, uh, an elder.